everyone, it's me, YD28. Welcome back to my channel, The Sims 2 Let's Play River Blossom Hills, round four, and we're back with the Viejo uh, household with Betty and Catherine and Andrew and Jacob. Uh, last time we focused a lot on Jacob and his relationship with Jules, and it uh, didn't really work out for him, unfortunately. Um, so this time, I kind of want to really focus on our two elders, seeing as... You know, they're not going to be with us for very much longer. Luckily, they have more time than Dora. But Dora recently passed away, and we actually inherited some money from Dora because we were uh, such good friends with her. Um, at least Catherine was. So Catherine's quite sad. I mean, they just made friends with Dora. She was kind of uh, going to distract them from the loss of their, um, their other friend, who was Andrew's mother. Um, but unfortunately... Um, she just passed away too so uh, you know old people it's just kind of this is kind of what it is now someone knocked over our um oh i'm up space sandra um so it is a saturday we don't have uh school or anything like that or work i don't think she has no work she does have work on a saturday as a substitute teacher i'm so sorry Catherine. uh he does not have work and jacob has work at three so uh, I'm going to leave his uh, want of wanting to go steady with, his want of wanting to go steady uh, with the jewels locked in for now. Uh, I was, I kind of had this crazy thought and I, okay, Betty, Betty Goldstein <laughs> wants to ma marry a wealthy sim. And I'm kind of wondering, oh, Sandra Roth is stealing our stuff. Um, I'm kind of thinking, you know, uh, what if, just the crazy, crazy thought, what if Betty and Andrew fell in love and got married? What if they married each other? What if Andrew is actually in to older women? Um, he likes himself some grannies. Like, what? Like, what? I don't know. I don't even know if that's, this is even a good idea. It might not be. But I'm just, I'm just, you know, the more I'm saying it, the more I'm like, what? No. Uh, but uh, it was, it was a thought because Andrew also doesn't seem to be extremely attracted to anyone really around him. Maybe he just doesn't care. I don't know. Um, but he should care. He should care. So I'm just trying to uh, figure out, you know, I want these women, to, these older women, to have, you know, the life they want, the, you know, the life they deserve. They deserve a full-blown life to get platinum aspiration level and all of that good stuff. Um, so I want them to be happy. And they can't marry Liad anymore because he's just, they found out he's engaged to Cleo. Um, and Catherine is so happy for Cleo. I think she will actually maybe invite her over today and um, congratulate her and talk to her. Hopefully. So Andrew does not have work today. Um, we are close with Ka uh, LaShawn Cameron, uh, who we did like. He seems to have two lightning bolts with Cleo. Oh my god. Why are we crying so much? Is it because of the death? Let's drink some coffee. I don't know. I thought I asked you to serve some food. Let's serve pancakes. We like pancakes, Betty. Make us pancakes. Um, and uh, so we're all just playing video games this morning. At least the boys are. Cleo and Cleo. Catherine and Betty. They're doing their chores and stuff. They're doing their gardening. Betty's cleaning the house and um, making pancakes. What did he want to do? I just, I just don't know. Would they flirt with one another? Wh what would they do? Oh, he's cleaning up the plates for us. That is sweet. That is really sweet. Uh, and he wants pancakes, but he's making him his favorite food. That is also very sweet uh, of her. Uh, Jacob, you need to you need to take a shower or something. I don't know. And maybe use some acne cream. Oh, your computer broke. Oh, Catherine is, a. Uh, Catherine's got the social, I miss the social bunny so, so much. 
The social bunny is my hero. So we're going to come eat and chat with people. There we go. Catherine's social level is skyrocketing all of a sudden. I don't think she's feeling well because her comfort level just like dropped dramatically. So she's going to go take a bubble bath. And then um, so she apparently has work in a little bit. So I think we'll invite Cleo and Liad over for dinner tonight. That might be really, really nice. Um, and get that going. And in the meantime, Andrew's going to invite over LaShawn. And let's see if... Um, you know, anything nice happens. Um, Betty's going to use the bathroom. Oh, yes he is. Go answer the phone. Maybe she's asking us on a date. Oh, she just wanted to chat with us. Hello, we want to, we want to invite you over. We want to invite you over. Uh, sure. Okay, so he's just going to hop into the shower really, really quickly. Catherine's off to work, too, so she'll have a good time as a substitute teacher on a Saturday. Uh, Jacob just got into the gaming uh, zone. Who is this guy? Craig Ray. He's a sexy. Hello, Craig. Okay, so here's Lishan. So we'll come and greet her. There's also this chick that she brought, Lisa Bradshaw. Do we like Lisa? Ooh. Oh, wow. We really like this Lisa Bradshaw person. So maybe we don't want to date LaShawn. What? Okay, let's come chat with her, uh, entertain her, appreciate her. Can we charm her? We have like three lightning bolts with this girl. And she's like really pretty. Corker invites Jacob over for his weekly poker match. Uh, okay, we're just gonna go escape. Cause I don't care about that. My furnace just kicked on, of course, you know, the worst. Just the timing. But um, my goodness, we'll talk about our games hobby, and chat with her, uh, tell her another joke. Anytime I see like three lightning bolts, and if you can hear my dog barking, I'm so sorry. She's on the third floor and she's barking at stuff outside. Um, three lightning bolts, I'm like pretty sure they are going to, uh, you know, get married and all that good stuff. Let's see if we can kiss her hands too. <gasps> oh wow, she likes us. Oh boy, and Betty is playing chess and getting to know, uh, getting to know this chicky. Oh, are we not, uh, is this gonna work? Are we gonna be able to kiss our hands? I don't know, she might pull away. Oh, she liked it, she liked it a lot. Oh my goodness. Let's admire her, maybe give her a back rub. You seem like a pretty insightful person. I'm developing a new product and I'd be interested to hear your feedback, I think. Let's give her a romantic hug too. Oh, I think An Andrew really, really likes her. You know, it's... Oh, whoo, whoo, whoo. Let's kiss her up the arm. Oh my god, I think I need a picture of this. She's cute, I like her. Oh my god, it's so scandal. Oh my goodness. Uh, can we tickle? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, enough of these two. They're like, they're in like la la land happiness. Uh, Betty's gonna come clean up all these dishes and serve some boss with squash and we're going to invite over Cleo and Liad we're going to invite over the household and we're going to bring Liad not Alabama just because puppies are uh, puppies are you know whatever sounds great we'll be over in a few yes okay cool 
Um, so she'll just run upstairs, change into her everyday, just so you know she's, you know, in her everyday. Um, Jacob's gonna come take a quick shower. These are sitting here too, which is nice. I think he might ask her to stay the night. He's kind of like really intrigued. And Leon is actually Andrew's best friend or so. So we want to greet everyone. Get everyone inside. Um. I think we'll share interests and talk about games. Oh my god. And, oh boy. Okay, cool. Catherine, no! What are you doing? I just asked you to invite Cleo over and you're sleeping? Well, we're gonna call everyone to this meal. So, whatever. Jacob, why don't you come answer the phone? Oh, Andrew needs to come eat um, and sit beside her that we can do things like caress her hands and blow her a kiss because they're so cute. I'm so distracted by these two right now. Oh my goodness. They like really like each other. What chemistry. Aww. My god, can I get this? Oh. Of course not. It is a terrible angle for anything. Well, this is kind of... Uh, whatever. Okay. So there's Catherine. Oh my god! All guests to the meal. And we're gonna, you know, eat and stuff. Don't go to bed. Is Betty going to bed? Okay, that's fine. She can go to bed, whatever. Catherine needs to, like, give her niece a hug and say, like, an inside joke and admire her. And, uh, you know, maybe introduce her to Jacob? I don't know. Did we ask her to stay the night? Oh my god, he's gonna join her playing games. Okay, Jacob is... Jacob needs his computer fixed, so he needs to call... Not a sim. Oops. Cancel. He needs to call the repairman. Get the guy here in the morning first thing in the morning so that you know we have our computer because right now we don't and we need it uh so we'll just play video games on the on the computer or on the tv instead we'll play with our console luckily we have a console uh so yeah Catherine's gonna talk with cleo and just see how she's good doing and she's gonna talk with liad as well and just be like treat my niece well and you know that house was made for her future family um so I want you two to really take ownership of it oh my god it's rain and men you know all that good stuff Catherine's so cute too and Cleo was looking ooh Cleo's looking uber cute And then she has like zero relationship with Liad. That's so weird. I swear at the beginning they uh they both have a nature hobby though, so maybe they'll uh maybe they'll really get along because they have such something in common, you know? What is thunderstorming? Oh my god, the trees are on fire. The trees on fire. My gosh. Okay, yeah, we're all gonna go to bed now. <laughs> we're gonna get ready for bed. This is a crazy storm, my gosh. Um, yeah, so Catherine will say goodbye to uh, everyone. And uh, she's gonna come get ready for bed too. She's dead tired. 
It's one in the morning. Everyone needs to get out of here. Leave. Oh, everyone's still saying. Okay, maybe Jacob. Maybe Jacob has to say goodbye to everyone. There we go. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and skip until morning time. I will see you guys then. And good morning, everyone. So today, uh, I decided, is a gardening day because our place is a hot potato mess. It is, like, actually terrible. Um, all our plants have, like, terrible bugs and they're sickly um, and they were just over watered so we don't want to water them all but um yeah we have to take care of them we got to do some weeding um, so Betty's going to serve some omelets for breakfast because the guys will have to help out a bit um, well Andrew has work at 1 p.m. And Jacob has today off, so, you know, part of his uh, chores is doing some weeds and stuff. So Jacob's going to start in the back, Angie's going to start at the front. We're going to work our way around, and it's going to be great. So it is a full-blown take care of the garden day. Because it is a terrible, terrible hot mess. Okay, cool. So that's good. Um, Catherine's going to be over here pulling weeds and such. Because they have so many plants and everything's just, you know, awful. Uh, and then Betty. Uh, does Betty have work today? No. And Catherine has the day off as well. I wish Catherine and Betty could meet some more older people. I wish, like, they could make friends. I think Betty will maybe give Morty Roth a call up and chat with the Roths a bit. Um, they are family somehow. I think our... Oh, he's our nephew. And so Sandra and Xander are our um, grand-nephews. I was just didn't recognize Xander because he aged up this last part and he totally forgot. Totally forgot. Um, and I'm surprised Betty doesn't have much of a relationship with Cleo at all. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, cool. So they're working away. Um, I think I'll let them take a quick break just to come eat some omelets before they go bad. Jacob actually really likes nature activities, which is interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, I'm going to have Betty put away those leftovers. Catherine needs to pay, but she's, you know, gardening. Yeah, so Betty's going to call up always at work. Okay, so we're going to go eat. And then we'll pee and wash our hands. And then get back to work. Nowhere close to even being done. So I don't <laughs> oh my goodness. How's Andrew's side? Did he finish? Not even close. But he has to go to work. Sandra keeps knocking over our goddamn garbage. But we're getting compost, so, you know, good. Jeez. This lot has way too many plants. Way too many plants. Look at them all go. Little, little worker bees. Little worker bees. All feeling like really tired now and really, really stinky. I know exactly how that feels. I hate having to take care of the garden in the summer. We have like really bad weeds and everything. So it's like just, it's just really tough. Oh god. Well, Betty tried to call you earlier, and you didn't pick up, so what up with that? What up with that, friend? I'll go ahead and give you a call now, because obviously you're home from work. There we go. Oh, my God. So much. Catherine's like, I'm done. I'm going to bed. Betty's tired, too. Jacob's exhausted. He's going to have to take a nap, too. And we're not even done. I think we're gonna hire a gardener because this is just this is just honestly so much work we need a gardener to come in 
first thing in the morning, they're going to come in. Uh, and, oh, it looks like we actually are done. But we need to spray this one. We need to tend that one. We need to pick up the garbage. Again. So, yeah. Gardener is definitely needed because there's just way too much gardening work to... Uh, for us to do on our own and Catherine wants to focus on just her vegetable garden. She doesn't want to focus on um, Doesn't want to focus on weeding everything else, you know Though everything's like really sickly <laughs> Oh, these guys have produce on them. Oh my god. Yes Harvest harvest. Okay, wake up. You are done sleeping. It's 7 p.m. Ooh, Andrew got promoted. Oh, he's tired. Oh my god. He's like, I'm dead tired too. Going to bed. Um, he is promoted to platform jumper. Few can jump quite like you, but that is what comes with the dedication and enjoy the pay raise and old school gameplay. But keep those fingers nimble. Andrew works 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Starting immediately. Very good. So he needs mechanical and logic. We can do that. Um, so him and Miss, uh, Lisa, they have, like, this hardcore connection. Might move her in really soon, just because, uh, he seems to have this, uh, really fast-moving relationship with her that makes sense that he would, she would move in and they would start, uh, like, being an item and dating, uh, really, really quickly. Jacob and Jules, on the other hand, are kind of, I, I don't know what they are. Maybe Jules has changed her mind. I'm not sure, but Jacob's really hurt from the other day. And Jules just seems to think everything's normal. So he's kind of like, you know what? If you're, um, if you're not gonna, you know, give me a break and, you know, be open to us, then I'm not gonna be open to you. I will just wait for you to come to me. Wait for you to want me, you know? Uh, he needs to do all of his homework, actually, like, right now. Um, so I didn't, I don't know, I didn't really get a chance to play a lot and get Betty and Catherine where I want them to be. I want them to, you know, really be happy and, like, do crazy, crazy old lady fun things. Um, what do we like? I'm wondering, oh, we like cuisine. Um, cause I was gonna get her, like, a craft table or something, or maybe get Catherine, like, a floral thing. I don't know, but, um, I want them to be happy, and I want them to do their old lady retired things, and right now they work their part-time jobs, which I think they do need to, to, um, these are bland, so are these, oh, they're all bland. I don't want to eat them. We'll just sell them. We'll just sell them. Money! Money, money! Oh, none of them need watering, silly, but they need spraying. Um, but anyways, I think I will go ahead and end this part here. It is about full... It's almost full time. Uh, and yeah, everyone's kind of just... This household is not as exciting because I feel that Andrew and Jacob are just lazy and they're not really, like, taking the initiative. I want to do this. I want to do that. They're super laid-back sims uh, that just like to play video games all day. So they're not the kind to go out and, you know, find that girl or to go out and fight with someone or to go out and, like, um you know, win the girl of the day. They're just kind of, like, super laid back. And then Catherine and Betty, on the other hand, um, they're doing the retired thing, and we, you know, they have their gardening. It's just, this household's super laid back. There's not a lot of drama, despite the fact that, you know, uh, Andrew's wife passed, and um, his mother passed away, and things like that, and that they both, like, leod, and that kind of just dissolved into nothingness. Didn't really get involved with that kind of love triangle, um, love affair thing. So, um, I don't know. It's just, you know, I like, I like this household though. They're, they're sweet. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. If you guys are enjoying this series, please do give this video a fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos as I put them out fairly regularly. I love you guys so very much. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.